What's going on everyone? It's Daniel with RTA Outdoor Living here with another video today and we're going to be discussing something we get asked a lot of questions about. We're going to go through the electrical requirements for a gas grill and what is the best way to run electrical to your grill. Many grills have different requirements as some grills actually require power to function but today we're going to discuss and focus on Coyote grills as this is the appliance brand that we use. Because Coyote grills use a single spark or piezo starter, the grills don't require any external power source to start the grills. With that said, all Coyote gas grills come with an internal lights that do require power. Coyote C-Series grills only requires one source of power. We recommend locating this power source inside the structure of the island as the power cord for the lights are at the bottom left-hand side of the grill. This power cord can be plugged into any standard 110 outlet. For the S-Series Coyote grills, this will require two sources of power. We recommend having one outlet inside the island structure for interior lighting and LED lights on the grill knobs, and another external power source for the rotisserie. The rotisserie motor on the Coyote grills comes standard on the left-hand side of the grill, and the motor has a short cord that comes out of the motor and requires power. The cord for the rotisserie could be plugged into any standard 110 outlet, just like the power cord for the lights. The difference here is you will want the power source for the rotisserie to be located outside the island. Here are some of the most common ways to make sure that you have a power source to plug your rotisserie into. Some people are putting their islands up against a wall and have outlets on their back wall. But in the event you don't, you can easily incorporate an outlet into the, your back wall that the island is going up against and use that to plug your rotisserie motor into. If your grill is going on the end of your island, you can incorporate an external power outlet right into the side of your island to plug directly into. The final option you have is to incorporate a pop-up outlet into your countertop that is close by to your grill so you can plug the cord in that way. Well, there you have it, a quick guide to providing your gas grill with the electrical sources it needs. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment sections below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay tuned for future videos. Once again, it's Daniel with RTA Outdoor Living, and we look forward to helping you host the moments that matter.